I may suck for an NBA player. Like those guys are pretty good, but I don't suck compared to you. Like you, you suck compared to me. Brian Scalabrini, AKA White Mamba, is a former NBA player. He played in the league for 11 years. Although he wasn't the best or an all-star player, he played in the NBA for more than a decade for a reason. One day he was at a random gym practicing a few shots and getting some work done when all of a sudden a high school hooper called him out. I get in the video. I get in the video. Just whatever. We go just dribble around till I get my ass tired. What do you guys play? You guys. Brian immediately accepted the challenge and called him out to a one v one. He was going to teach this young hooper a lesson. And this young hooper can hoop. You can tell by the way he shoots and his form and all of that. However, there are levels to this game. White Mamba bodied this kid. And despite him being much older and heavier, he was still moving fast and has always been there in his face no matter what, how fast the young hooper went. He was still just blocking his shots left and right. He was reading them like an open book. Whenever Brian gets the ball, you'd play bully ball and lay the ball with relative ease. Hey! Oh! Hey! Hey! hey. You said hit the weight room. Hey! 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 Oh! Hey! Hey! The only way the challenger managed to stop Brian was to literally foul him. Other than that, he stood no chance. Uh, uh. Uh, uh. Scalabrini ended up skunking his challenger 11-0. He gave the same work to that Solomato he gave Flight Reacts five years ago. You're probably sick and tired of hearing people say that they're better than you, which is just a ridiculous statement. And you basically just put an open challenge to everybody. All right, come play me a one-on-one. Is that yeah, basically so, what happened? So people got immediately started tweeting, oh, you suck, Scal. I'll, I'll beat you. And I'm like, listen, I may suck for an NBA player. Like, those guys are pretty good. But I don't suck compared to you. Like, you, you suck compared to me. I suck compared to Derrick Rose and Russell Westbrook and those guys. So let's just do it. So we, in, we invite the city of New, all of, basically all New England can send in their videos I just, you know, went one-on-one -on -one against five different guys. And they scored about what well, they don't recognize like, and what you and me do recognize. When you're in the NBA, there's all kinds of tells, right? Like if a guy puts his hand like that, you know what he's going to do. If a guy does a, like a hesitation, you know what he's going to do. Well, all that stuff is like in real time in the NBA, you got to be so on top of the reads. It's not, it's not speed. It's my... You can't look at me and say, like, my brain is slow. Like, my brain is fast. Like, my body might be slow, but I have to read whether a guy's going to shoot, drive, go to the middle, go, you know, pass. If, if you're not reading those things, you're not playing in the NBA. And there's countless guys, 6'10", athletic, strong, and they don't read, like, the intricacies of the game. They don't see a hesitation dribble. They make – they don't move until the ball is passed. Duncan, I'm moving – when the ball is on the gather, I, if I'm not, I'm dead. I'm dead in the water. So like that, that me having to analyze a game like that allows me to play a guy one-on-one. -on -one. It's like, I can literally like in the middle of him, his inside out move, think what I'm eating for dinner and still challenge his shot. You know, it's not like I'm doing this against this high level, these people. So anyway, like do that. I watch him. Most guys who scored on me, they scored the first or second possession. And then once I figure them out, you're like, I've seen this a thousand times. You're uh, you like to drive left, go right. You like to step back right and all that. Like, I know that like within three possessions, these are players I've never played before. And then the sheer size of being six nine two fifty, you know, it's tough for people. So that's how that it all played out. And I, you know, it wasn't really that challenging. Max is nice as a comedian who is known for imitating NBA players and pretty much making funny skits. However, he's also quite good at basketball. He has a great fundamental. He also can be deadly on the court. One day, he challenged Giannis Antetokounmpo to a quick play. Right off the bat, you can tell Max stands no chance, and he knows it all so well. So he did the only thing that he could, and that is to foul the shit out of Giannis. So when I said you want He 
was holding him, grabbing him, and slapped him as he was laying the ball. So Giannis had to go again, except this time, he was ready for whatever Max was going to throw at him. Max doubled down on the fouling part, grabbing him with both of his arms, trying to pull him from the basket and stop him from scoring on him. But Giannis was not going for any of that, and immediately unleashed his Greek freak strength and dunked the ball like it owed him money. And so it was funny seeing Max have to call travel, despite following Giannis four or five times. But you can tell he was just joking and playing around. WNBA players are not to be played with or underestimated. They can hoop, and they are definitely better than the average hooper. Liz Cambage, who holds the WNBA single game scoring record with a 53 point performance, was training working on her game in a hoop and gym. And she was dropping everyone off. We have to give her credit where credit is due. No one on that court stood a chance against her. That's the difference between regular hoopers and NBA players. Just watch these clips, and you will get my point. Liz, is it easy? Is it easy right now? It's not easy. Bit. Finally on this list, we have the former NBA legend Dwayne Wade versus none other than his own son, Zaire Wade. Zaire Blessing Wade, an American professional basketball player who plays for the Cape Town Tigers of the Basketball Africa League, aka the BAL. He's an elite hooper who can hold his own pretty well. However, despite his strength and shiftiness, his father Dwayne Wade was on another level. Despite D. Wade being 40 years old, retired NBA player, he still managed to outclass, outmatch Zaire in a brutal fashion, quite literally. He was playing super physical, obviously, pushing Zaire to get the better properly, give him hard-earned buckets. I can't help but notice how NBA players are leagues over about any other hooper that exists. I honestly don't know which is more brutal, his physicality or his trash talk. Four, three, two, one, four, five. <laughs> you want to beat me? You got to beat me. I let you win. Five. Wow. You went off a of post up. Congratulations. Congratulations. You can't beat me. You're 240. Yep. You are 170. Play me all jumpers. See what happens. I, don't, I don't play all jumpers. I've never played that game of basketball. Go back and watch. First of all, you had the most fouls I've ever seen in a quick game of one. Oh, yeah, whatever. I got the most points you've seen, too. All jokes aside, it was a great 1v1 with both sides putting in their game in all. I've always tried to walk a line between us. So pay no mind to my pride. I don't need it. I don't need it. There's a, a legendary quote that came from that, which is that I'm way closer to LeBron than you are to me, yeah. <laughs> which is what you said, which is so incredibly true also. And it, that, it just needs to be reiterated.